Somalia President Mohamed Farmadu last evening agreed to Kenya's invitation to visit Nairobi, signaling the calming of tensions that rose last week on Monday. Mr. Farmadu, who received President Kenyatta's special envoy, led by Interior CS Fred Matiangi in Mogadishu, indicated he would meet the Kenyan leader, although the actual date was not announced. This followed a meeting between President Farmadu and Dr. Matiangi delegation, where he presented an invitation from President Kenyatta. Dr. Matiangi and his group of security chiefs had been sent to Mogadishu on Sunday morning as a delegation meant to iron out the recent row in Mandera, which saw Somali National Army troops battle jubilant forces on Kenyan soil. Fugitive jubilant security minister Abdi Rashid Hassan Abdenur, who escaped from prison in Somalia, is reported to be in Mandera town. During last week's clash with jubilant forces, the federal government of Somalia army wanted the minister and his group forced to shift their base from Border Point 1 estate to Barwako. Kenya has had rocky relations with Somalia since the maritime boundary case at the International Court of Justice became active under Farmajo. Somalia has not been a stable state since the end of the reign of General Mohammed Siad Barre. And Kenya has borne the biggest plant of the deterioration of the rule of law and constitutionalism in Somalia because we share a border and many Somalis are not just of the Somali origin as a state but they are also in Kenya and the border is almost porous and then elements that are not very peaceful in nature tend to permit this border. The fighting by forces traditionally united against Al-Shabaab terrorists saw Kenya and Somalia accuse each other of territorial integrity violations. President Farmajo has almost vowed in his heart that he will never have peace with Kenya. This is a president who is insulting the blood of our sons and daughters who have died in El Ade and other points in Somalia trying to, re to liberate that country from terrorism and from terrorists from Al-Shabaab and telling people, trying to tell, pe trying to tell the people of his country that Kenya is, is interfering with, his, with their sovereignty. The Somali statement did not mention ICJ, nor another issue like that of fugitive jubilant security minister Abdi Rashid Hassan Abdi Nur Janan. Janan is said to have fled jail in Mogadishu, and he is the reason Mogadishu deployed troops in Gedo near Mandera. Farmajo accused Kenya of refuting to hand him over. Dena Rose. Switch TV.